this is just a quick practice on switch statements, right? I'm going to get rid of this uh, print hello world. I know it'll just run it instantly uh, if I don't. Right. Basically, a switch statement is essentially just a shorthand and kind of more, I don't know, a prettier, nicer looking, more neatly arranged way of doing an if uh, else or an if else if else. Uh, statement type thing right and all we have to do all we need for a switch statement is a variable and I'll make two I'll make number one which is equal to 99 and I'll make number two which I'll say is equal to 12 right and we just use the keyword switch and this tells the uh, computer that we want to make a switch statement and then we choose a variable okay and then we put our curly braces here and you can see that this is actually automatically tabbed for me I like that but remember that your ID might not do that ah there we go it's not automatically tabbed here that's great it's exactly what I'm looking for and right in the middle we put a case and this case um, is essentially what we're doing here is with each case we are comparing the value of number one to the case and if number one and the case are the same value, then the code within the case will execute. So we'll say that the first case is a value 32. We put a colon after the 32. Then after the colon underneath, we put our code. So in this case, our code is going to be print. A print statement saying number one is equal to 32. Right? It obviously isn't, so this case won't execute. I'll put another case that will execute and we'll say that 99 so we're saying that number one is equal to 99 or if number one is equal to the case that is 99 which it is then do this which will be print one is equal to 99 just to explain that again basically we've got a variable after the switch uh, keyword and this variable or the value of this variable which is 99 will be compared to the value of these cases, right? If it matches these cases, um, then whatever is done, wh whatever case it matches, or the first case it matches, the code of that case, so in this case, the code after the colon here, um, will be executed. So this print statement should be executed because 99 is equal to number one, right? In modern versions of Swift, and also in this online Swift, playground we actually have to have a default case what a default case does is basically it's a catch-all it's an else statement so if these two here fail then this default statement will print and we'll just print out the default for that it won't print out what will print out is this number one is equal to 99 okay there's a few things I want to explore in this I want to see um, if I can get a switch statement uh, to compare a number with a string, right? So I want to see if I can make a case that's a string instead of a number, even though we've used a number as the comparison. So I'm going to put case um, B, as in a B, not as in the letter B. I'm going to say print case is B, right? This won't print whether it's true or not and then we're going to have a default right I'm going to say default we're going to say print and we're going to say that num1 is not equal to the string b right simple enough let's run this I want to see what happens ah I get an error because you cannot convert um, sorry, you cannot compare a number to a word. I mean, you can in the real world, but you cannot in the logical world, right? So, now that we've learned, and now that I've learned, you all know that essentially, because these data types are incompatible, they can't be compared. We've learned this before. I just wanted to kind of demonstrate that again. I already kind of knew the answer. Now, next thing we want to do. We want to make another switch statement. And we're going to say num2, which is equal to 12. And we're going to say 
we're going to put one case here so we're going to put case 506 which just isn't true and we'll print num2 is equal to 506 if it is true that is and then we're going to put a default out here okay we're going to print that num2 is not equal to 506 right now i print that and default should run now defaults run what i'm trying to demonstrate here is that there are two types of swift statements right at uh, switch statements not swift statements sorry you can get an if else if and else or you can get an if else and what i mean by this is here this would be an if so if number one is equal to 32 then execute this code else if number one is equal to 99 execute this code else print default right so that is an if statement in it or we could consider it as an if statement the first case the second case is an else if statement or it could be considered as one it isn't one but it could be considered as similar to one and the default is the else statement so this could be considered as an if else if else block all right so if we've only got one case like here and we just have one default then we would consider this an if and an else block or you know similar to an if and an else block and that's really all there is to it in terms of uh, like the structure of the switch statements right easy enough next thing is I showed you before that you can do multiple uh, comparisons in one case right so let's say switch number two number two is what it's 12 i think so let's say we wanted to compare i don't know case that we want to see if it's equal to 99 55 62 or 81 right now if number two is equal to any of those it will execute the code after this colon right so what what this does is in one case it compares number two to all four of these numbers and if number two is equal to any of these four numbers then the code after the colon will be executed so in this case we'll print num2 is equal to either 99 55 62 or 81 so in this one case we're able to make several comparisons right in this next case i'm going to do that again um but i'll you know i'll make one of the comparisons true so 12 you know it is of value 12 and so we'll print num2 is equal to either 12 sorry 31 12 or 89 in this case it be equal to 12 so the reason that this should execute is because number two is actually 12 as we can see up there and then you know we have to put our default because this is the modern world and the modern version of swift be the same if you're using xcode by the way by the way i've just noticed the mistake that i've made but i'm actually going to keep it because it's a good lesson to learn see up here where i've done this default this print statement actually isn't tabbed forward so um yeah you can see that it's not as well presented as this the reason why i tab these forward here is so that you can distinguish that this is code that's run within this default or within this case for example otherwise it's hard to tell um you know where code ends and where code starts and stuff like that anyway we'll print as the default default which won't execute and then we'll run this and we'll see that the second case executed okay and what this shows is that you can do multiple multiple comparisons in one case so you can do multiple con cases and each case can have one or more comparisons okay so we could have 20 comparisons here it probably i probably end up to about here in the uh 
in, in this little box, whatever you call it. But here I've done three comparisons, here I've done four. There's no code errors, so basically, as long as you've got a comma separating each value, uh, you can have multiple values that you can compare your variable to, to verify your variable. The next thing I'm just going to show you that the switch statement will run um, the default value if none of the cases are correct. So we'll say case 901, which just isn't correct. And we'll print the value. We'll just print the value 901 because this isn't going to run, so it doesn't really matter. And then we'll use our default statement. Oops. We'll use our default statement there and we'll print this is the default okay and the default value is essentially an else it's a it's a catch-all it's just saying that this didn't work and neither did any of the other cases within the switch statement so we're going to do whatever this default uh, statement tells us to do right simple as so there you go you've got you've got your basic logic you've got your here you've got your if, else if, and your else, essentially. In terms of logic, remember that this isn't actually, you know, an if block of any kind. It's just similar in its logic, okay? This didn't work because you can't compare numbers and strings, obviously. This here um, prints out the default, I think. Yeah, it prints out the default, yeah. This also prints out the default down here. And this shows that you can use... Multi, you can do multiple comparisons in a case, right? Easy enough. Now, I'm going to mess around with something that I showed you before. Uh, you can consider this tutorial finished if you don't want to learn about uh, using comparison operators within um, these switch statements. So we'll say case um, let x where x is more than 900 which obviously won't be true we'll print uh, num1 is more than 900 which it isn't and we'll say case let x where x is less than 900 okay and we'll print num1 is less than 900. Simple enough, okay? We'll also get a default. Print. Oops, got to tab that forward. Always remember that. Keep things nice and tidy. So you can read it later on. So you can go back and say, hmm, that's what I did. Notice here I haven't completed this yet. It's missing a curly brace to end it. And when I print this out, we should get num1 is less than 900. So, basically, by using a constant temporarily within this switch statement and making the constant itself where itself is any instance of a number that's over 900 or any instance of a number under 900, you can see that we can use comparison operators, right? I'm not sure if we can use them as multiple cases yet. Uh, sorry, multiple comparisons per case using these kind of uh, operators, but I'm going to try. So we'll say switch number two. We'll say case let y where y is more than 13. Let what v where v is less than 12 okay if this does work it shouldn't uh, shouldn't fire off and we'll put num2 is more than 13 or less than 12 it's actually 12 so this wouldn't be correct um, but just bear in mind, I'm not actually, you know, using this case to, uh, I'm actually going to put default. I'm not using this case to um, 
you know actually have this fire i'm just seeing if it makes an error just to see if i can use you know these this this sort of two constants or two comparisons of constants within uh one case if that makes sense or two comparison operators within one case yeah and we're going to put default print we're just going to put this is another default right it should print that might not but basically if this comes up with an error you're not allowed to use uh more than one sort of comparison operator by using these temporary constants per case but i think it should allow us to do it not tried it before though but let's try it you know try something different and it sh it, it just doesn't work for whatever reason so yeah i'm gonna leave that and i'm gonna imagine for whatever reason you can't do it in each uh in each one all right but you know if i'd have never run it and this is something you should always remember when programming it doesn't matter if it's in swift or anything else if you don't know if it's going to work like i i don't feel confident i feel like man i'm a bad teacher i failed i thought it was going to work and it didn't right Instead of feeling regret and feeling worried that, oh no, something didn't work and not running it because you've got fear that it doesn't work, all you've got to do is run it and you'll find out whether it works. And if it doesn't work, you can always comment it out, just like I've done here, and um, run it again and everything else will still work like it did before, right? So just remember that when you're thinking, I don't know if my code's going to work, just run it, just find out. You'll get an error, it'll tell you what went wrong and why. In my spare time, I'll figure that error out. Although this really was, this is more advanced stuff anyway. So, you know, I didn't need to do it. Also, this is kind of advanced, right? And this is a basic tutorial. So I kind of just did that for fun. But yeah, let's go back over the basics. So you need to use some sort of variable in a switch uh, statement. And the variable will be compared to at least one case but one or more cases in this case too if it's one just one case and a default then that follows the same logic as an if and else if else block right if there's more than one case then it follows the logic of an if else if else block simple okay in any switch statement the very first case that is uh, this that has the val that, that's value is the same as the value of the variable will have its code executed and no other code within the switch statement will be executed and really you just use switch statements um as kind of a tiny alternative of if else if and else statements um you decide for yourself when you want to use these and when you want to use if uh, if blocks of any kind there are benefits to using either or depending on the situation but again that's probably something more situational that you'd want to figure out on your own anyway thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy